the UK variant as well as the South African variant and very likely the Brazilian variant transmit much more readily. They get that additional functional advantage, but they're still the same SARS-CoV-2 virus. It can not completely as well as it does the wild type virus, which is means the virus that has been with us right from the beginning, but it still has a considerable de degree of protection, particularly against severe disease, namely hospitalization and deaths, but not as well when you're dealing with mild to moderate disease. It's still an estimate. We don't know what the precise percentage would be to get to herd immunity, but a good estimate I think would be somewhere between 70 and 85% of the population vaccinated. Well, it is absolutely theoretically possible that that's the case and likely that it does occur, but overwhelmingly it is felt that the major component of transmission is respiratory from person to person. Even from an asymptomatic person, which we know that 50% of all the transmissions come from a person who's either completely asymptomatic and will never get symptoms, or someone who's pre-symptomatic. Namely, they're not symptomatic yet, but within a period of a few days, they will become symptomatic. If you have a vaccine that's 94 to 95% effective, the risk of you getting infected or certainly the risk of you getting sick are far, far lower than prior to the vaccine. But there still is a risk. So you have to ask somebody what level of risk are they willing to take? Right now, we still say, please, unless you really have to, don't travel. No, I mean, the vaccines have been shown to be very safe. Historically, vaccines are the safest and most effective prevention for infectious diseases. Uh, the vaccines that we're talking about now have a very good safety record. And the risk of COVID-19 is overwhelmingly greater than the risk of a deleterious effect from a vaccine. I think we will ultimately get back to it's close to normal. I think there'll be much more attention paid to public health measures. But I think if we get the proportion of people in the country that I indicated, which is an estimate of what herd immunity would be, namely 70 to 85 percent of people, then I think we really would be approaching a rather a significant level of what we would call normality, maybe not 100%, but certainly not the stringent restrictions that we're under now.